Okay, so now map four, Misfits up two to one after winning Gibraltar and winning King's Row, but losing Nepal. So like, if you're going to the series when you're watching it live, you're thinking to yourself like, okay, Envious stomped them on Koth, maybe they'll stomp them on Koth again. Um, but I will say that the only reason why they stomped on Koth is because Taimu hit like five hooks, like he hit like probably, I don't know what his numbers were, but it was probably like a hook every fight at least. On the maps where they won at least. Um, in Sanctum, Nepal, like he went McCree, he got a lot of kills. But I didn't feel like Envious was overwhelming them, I just felt like they were constantly winning engagements because it was always like 4v5 or 5v6. Like they were always down a man because Taimu was hitting a hook. Now we're on Lijang, which is a completely different map from Nepal, a little bit less sightline oriented. Like I feel like Anna has a way harder time on Lijang than she does on Nepal because of the sightlines. Like there's a lot of geometry on Lijang at like even all the stages, Night Market on the outside like the tower, there's sightline issues and on the last stage. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. But I still don't like the Anna pick. Like I don't like the Anna without the Reinhardt and I don't like I especially don't like it because there's nothing for them to nano boost. Like nano boosted Winston is not that good. It's not worth running Anna just to get nano boosted Winston. Like nano boosted Winston is not better. Like two nano boosted Winstons is worse than a transcendence in my opinion. And that's like best case scenario that you're getting two nano boosts at the same time as a transcendence. Like maybe you'll get two and a half. I don't know. Point being, I don't find any combo of the nano boosts worth anything on this composition. I actually see no potential or no reason for you to be running an Ana right now, other than to say like, oh, I'm good at Ana. I think it's fine. Um. I really don't like Anna, and I like maybe I'm stressing it, maybe I'm wrong, maybe there's a good reason for Anna, but these heroes don't really synergize too well with Anna. Like, Aimu can heal himself, he's not going to, he's going to build an Anna ult. Hulk could do better with a Zenyatta orb to keep him alive, like just as good as Chipsigen would heal. Um, Zenyatta helps people die, like that's why I think that this is so strong. Like, they're running Zenyatta on Misfits, but like they're running it into two tanks, so like it's making Soon even better. Um, I feel like Misfits just came better prepared. Like all of their heroes or all of their players had such good depth that it worked out. Like Zebo, I feel bad for Zebo because Zebo played Lucio like every single game, every single point, all the time. But the ability for Nevix and crew to just swap roles on a whim just so soon can play as Tracer is really ridiculous. And I mean, Ribs Winston, like I don't remember it being incredible. Like I don't think he got many kills or did anything crazy, but he has like one of the best Zarya. Like, like two of the best Zarya players behind him at all times, so it just makes his job that much easier. And Harmony Orb will just keep him alive. Like fighting, tr being a tracer, trying to get kills on people that are Harmony Orbed is like very difficult, actually. Um, like soon with a Harmony Orb is I think scarier than Tailspin with like uh, Anna shooting him. So like again, I think that this pick right here is what really bones them. But I think if you're gonna run this, like at least put a Reinhardt in the mix, like make him run Reinhardt or Internet Hulk run Reinhardt. Someone needs to play Reinhardt right now, I'm pretty sure. And I think that the McCree even was good because I think McCree is so good against Tracer Reaper that like you should just be running it anyway. I don't know. That's my take on it. Again, I might be wrong. I don't really care if I'm wrong, but in my opinion, I think that the end is the mistake. Very aggressive jump from Rib, but he has Bubble. He gets Instagib because the Anna Nuke hits him. That was a really good Anna Nuke. Like, he saved it for after the Winston landed. But soon gets a kill on Harry, and it looks like Kedan got a kill on Tailspin. That's a really big kill. Tracer being down is like a lot of damage is gone. I don't know why they play crew on Reaper. The only reason why they would play him on Reaper is because maybe Nevix's Reaper is just bad. That's the only reason I can come up with as to why you would do this. Or maybe in the event of them needing a Genji. Soon, I think, through this fight. They lose this fight, actually. Um... 
I think that they would have won this fight if he had been more patient right here with this pulse bomb. Yeah, Ide asked Panda, there's probably some reason that has to do with hero swapping. Like maybe Crew is their Genji player, but Nevix is the Genji player. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me, but maybe they're just more comfortable on Koth. Maybe like one person plays better on Koth. Maybe it's just a mindset thing. Like if one person plays Zarya on Koth, it's different than someone playing Zarya on Payload. And maybe they just have a different mentality of how they approach the game. And one of them is way more aggressive and in their face. And one of them is way more calculated. So it works out in such a way that this is how they want to play it. I can't really make sense of it, but that's the only way that I could make up an excuse as to why it would be good. Other than maybe, I don't know, maybe there's like potential for them to switch Nevix to something else that Crew doesn't know how to play, or Crew was going to switch to something that Nevix doesn't know how to play. Like maybe if they need a, maybe a Farah, maybe Crew's the Farah player, so if there's like a chance they need a Farah, like there's a couple ways to look at it, maybe, but I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I agree. But here, I feel like Soon throws this fight right here. Like, he sees this bubble. Like, just wait half a second. Like, all he had to do is shoot it, and then he would have gotten a triple kill, I'm pretty sure. Because that bubble hits the ground and kills nothing. But I think it would have gotten two or three people there. But it doesn't. It gets nobody. Unfortunate. He still winds up killing Coco, but I feel like that pulse bomb could have been better and gotten a double kill. He's right though, that Nevix does play Reaper on other maps. Like you could see Nevix on a Reaper, so like it's not it doesn't make sense in some form, but whatever, man. All the power to them. Their ability I, it, I think it's a mindset thing too. Like maybe someone's just like Zarya on Koth player. Like they're just so good at they just have a different way of approaching the game. They're trying to get this back cap here. Sound barrier goes off. Um Harry gets a bop though, it looks like off the map. It's a good sleep. Soon gets a kill on Taimu though, and now Ribs on like knock people off the map duty. I don't know what goes on in the back here. Um, Nevix appears to have popped a Graviton Surge, and Crew appears to have dropped a Death Blossom. So while the camera was on Rib here, knocking people off the map, there appears to have been a Graviton Death Blossom combo on the point, which resulted in Misfits winning this fight regardless. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem that they switch. I think it's just bizarre that they switch. But I think it's just the fact that maybe one of them is just better at Koth Zarya and one of them is just better at Payload Zarya or something. Who knows? Instant kill on Hidan, that's a big kill. That's just like you want to open the map with a support kill. I don't expect Misfits to try to stop this point. Like, they should just get farmed right now. Don't use any ults. Coco's looking for a Graviton right now. I don't know. He's probably just waiting for them to commit. And yeah, there he goes. He just waits for them to show, and then he hits a good Graviton. Pulse Bomb only kills Lucio, but he forces out the Transcendence, and that's really good, too. So this is a really good fight for Envious. Um, the good news for Misfits is, though, that they have their own Graviton coming up. They have a lot of ults coming up. I mean, soon appears to have wasted his Pulse Bomb in that last fight. He probably should have saved it. But such is life. They get kills in this Graviton, but they do it without the Pulse Bomb, and I question whether- I don't even know if that was a good Hulk, or a good Graviton, rather. I don't actually know how many people it got. But I, don't think that, I think that that was a missed Graviton. I don't think that that hit many people. I think it only hit the Lucio or something. Zebosai just sound barriered to keep Soon and Rib alive. I think that, that was a really good decision there. Like he drops the sound barrier, get three people ulted, and then they just win the point with those three people. And that's something that a lot of teams won't do, or they'd be like, alright guys, just save ults for the next fight. But he's like, screw that, and goes in, finishes off the point. I question Hulk here too, or whoever this is. Yeah, this is Hulk. Like, I don't know what that was. I guess it was a distraction, but a weird distraction. 
I'm using the driver's seat right now, unless soon dies, but or unless soon goes crazy, but no, soon does not go crazy. That they popped a lot of ults there to try to survive the graviton from Coco, but it wasn't worth it at the end of the day because I think that they popped transcendence and then they wound up just like pushing the transcendence away. Now it's overtime. Soon with soon with harmony orb is so scary, man. Soon kills Taimu. Soon knocks down Coco. Soon kills Chipsigen. Crew comes back in, nano boosts or nan uh, death blossoms, kills tailspin. Now it's just crew versus the world. Rib comes in at like the clutchest moment possible. And Internet Hulk's actually like lower health than Rib right here, but Ribs are so close to his primal rage. All he has to do is like live. If Rib gets primal rage here, yeah, Rib gets primal rage, and then he's able to like survive. I'm trying so hard to knock him off the map. That was actually just a clutch series of events. Soon actually opened the door for this point, and then, yeah, Rib is incredible, actually. That was sick. He like, jumps into the Lucio's face, punches him. Is that a rare soldier pick? That was not That was a soldier pick just to get back to the point. Like, it was overtime, 99-99, so he just wanted to get back as fast as possible. It wasn't anything more than just trying to find the fastest hero back to the point. But yeah, Soon went nuts there. Like, he stayed alive, he had the Harmony Orb, and that's the power of the Harmony Orb. Like, he wound up getting a 2k... And then when he died, he had like half a second for Rib to get back on the point. Like, it was just a very big chain reaction of lucky timings right there from Misfits, I would say. But again, like, unless Taimu gets hooks, they don't get kills. And Taimu missed the hook on Soon, so then Soon wound up just winning the fight and it just came down to that hook. Like, if Taimu's on McCree there, does he kill Soon? Probably. Like, this, I don't know. That's, that's my looking, or that's how I look at it. Because again, Taimu's, or not Taimu, Tailspin's Tracer has not been doing much. And yeah, Harry was midway dropping the beat, but he was the only one alive, so he was going to die anyway. Taimu's just, Taimu's like in the zone, man, like... It's hooks, hits, meat shots, like, he knows what he's doing, he's at, he has this game, like... He's just, he's actually just really good, I guess. Like, he's a cocky bitch, but he's very, he's very good. Rip down instantly from the Anna Nuke. Taimu hits a hook, gets a kill, now it's just a 3v6. Tell's been panicked there, he could have just pulse bombed onto soon and gotten the kill. Or maybe that was a bubble, maybe the bubble would have saved him. That was weird, that was an awkward engagement. Hooks him out of the like, he hooks him out of Death Blossom there. Like his hooks are just so good this entire series, but like it's not enough, you know. Like they'll probably win this map if he keeps hitting this many hooks. Like that would have might that might have been a better fight for Misfits, but he hooks them, and then suddenly they. Ribs on Anna, dude. Misses the sleep dart right there. Rib made a lot of space there. He just like removed the Anna from the fight. I don't know what's going on with Dignitas either, to be honest with you. Um, Graviton for next fight. So you expect Misfits to hold right here? I mean, if you have Graviton on defense, like when you're defending, you should generally win. Although Crew looks so awkward here, like he comes in, he gets slept, comes back, Wraith forms out, 
gets hooked. Like, Taimu just shuts him down immediately. And, like, if he gets that Death Blossom off, maybe the fight goes differently. But he doesn't because Taimu just shuts him down. Like, Taimu's actually just carrying them so hard. I don't know why he came back there, like why he rewound. Now he's just gonna die, I'm pretty sure. See, like, Soon is killing Taimu. Taimu's, they're only winning fight, like, Taimu, they should have won that fight. I'm surprised they didn't win that fight, to be honest with you. Like, Tumu started off that fight with a kill, but it took them way too long to kill Nevix. Like, Nevix was alive forever. I guess Nevix also popped Graviton, but I didn't see it because we were watching Justin's cam. See, he misses a hook, and now he's probably just going to go back and try to kill him. Pulse Bomb hits Taimu, now Taimu is just dead. Oh, never mind, he's being healed a lot by chips right now in the back. But Soon's just doing whatever he wants right now. Surprised he didn't rewind there, he definitely could have lived. Nika! I can tell my dog's doing. She's either eating or she's like destroyed. Clutch ass bubble, actually. He would have died for sure to Tailspin if that Zarya bubble didn't come in. Hello, puppy. Big Graviton here from Coco, but there's not many people alive to capitalize on it. Soon versus Tailspin. Oh my god, he got off the point. There were a lot of like really close throws in this match. Like between this and the King's Row thing, like Misfits should have had that point, arguably. I'm surprised they didn't cap during that fight. Like I'm, I don't know. It's weird that it's weird to think that MBS even had control of that point the way that, that fight was looking, but. Whatever. Now we're going to tower. I still really hate Envious's comp, but now at least they're running Taimu on McCree. I don't know what their criteria is for thinking not to just... I feel like if there was a time to run Reinhardt, nope, he is getting off McCree for some reason. That was Soon's only big fuck-up. I mean, I wouldn't really say it's a fuck-up. He just, like, could have died. Like, if he died, it wouldn't have been a fuck-up. There's a mistake. It's, like, really small. I mean, it cost him a round, but it's not as bad as five envious members getting off the cart. I'm surprised that they don't run, just run McCree, McCree Reinhardt. Like if there was ever a map for McCree Reinhardt, it's this one. Even Farah's good on this map. Who gets a kill on Tailspin? How it, like Tailspin should not be dying. They have no flashbangs. Like the only way he dies is if he gets too cocky. Like I actually question how Tailspin can die to a Reaper. In a fight like this. They're just getting farmed now. Like, they're so good at winning these fights. They're just, like, playing these fights well. Like, they're going to control the bridge forever now. Like, it's so hard to push into Zarya on this map, actually. It's so hard to cross the bridge, even. Like, against good teams that spam you out. Like, look at Nevix right now. Actually, just farming damage. Like, Taimu's looking for hooks right now, and if he doesn't get a hook, Soon actually just baits out the hook there, and that's really smart. Just six more seconds that he's not getting a kill. Tailspin forced out the trans, but the fact that he even had trans that early is insane. And now Soon is just a beat. Like, Soon didn't even take damage there. He's just playing with them at this point. He's like playing with his food. Yeah, I feel like they're trying way too hard to make this Ana work, and I feel like it's just actually destroying any semblance of them being able to win this map. Like, Nevix just Graviton during that fight when they trans, but now he's at 64% ult because he's just been spamming that bridge forever. Nevix about to have 80% Graviton. 88%, 97% Graviton. He hits one right click, like he's so charged, he hits one right click and gets 9%. So, like, it's okay for Misfits to lose this fight, although that should not be happening. Like, Hidan just winning that 1v1, that just actually saves the point for them. But they were fighting here without anything, that's like, that's a panic grab if I've ever seen. 
did force out the Transcendence though, so the Transcendence comes out from Hida in there. I don't like it. Um, I think you just let your Lucio die because like they overcommitted already, and your half your team is dead. Like if a fight, if they take a fight without Nevix, they're not gonna win. Like look at Misfits now. They they don't have ult advantage, but they have Graviton, and like Graviton's enough to win fights, I would say, especially when you have Soon on Tracer. Taimu against Cloud9 was able to hit this hook so often, like he just farmed them over that ledge. Good Graviton, good Graviton. Down barrier forced out. Crew and Nevix are just doing so much damage right now. That con the three of them are just so good. See, Tailspin's just dead. Now it's at 90% to 20, like, this is where it's just scary, like, you have to push into Nevix. Nevix is just farming ults. Hidan gets a kill on Taimu. Like, run the Reinhardt, man. Like, if there was ever a map for the Reinhardt, it's this one. Good sound barrier from Zebo, just a preemptive sound barrier to stop them from getting on the point. It's just a, that's just an easy win for Misfits, honestly. Can I do diamond level gameplay? What do you mean? But it just goes back to their comp. Like, what is this nano boost doing? Like, has nano boost? Have you guys seen a nano boost from Envious where you've been like, wow, that nano boost really worked for them? It really got them all those kills. Like, as opposed to the transcendence that like keeps half their team alive. I think that that's like the big difference in this match. Like, there's nothing else to say. It's the Zenyatta versus the Ana. Like, imagine Tailspin with a Harmony Orb. It's so hard to save Tailspin as Ana. Like, Tailspin. I mean, he's dying a lot, but he doesn't have much health. Like. Harry Hook is the only source of healing that he has, as opposed to Soon. Soon has like a Harmony Orb and a bubble for him all the time. Like they're playing around Soon, they're not playing around Tailspin, and they're definitely not playing around Taimu. I'd anal I'll analyze anything. I'm doing, I'll am doing. do sub VODs eventually too. Like everyone that's subbed, if you guys want me to analyze your VODs, just let me know. You just have to join the Discord and then post in the channel that so I can like grab it. I'm on Reaper is not really a thing though, is my issue. But like he's good at it. See, he like pounds. He's just pounding. He did everything he could, but he got like one v five at the end there. But you can tell Envious is uncomfortable. Like I, I don't know. I I just honestly feel like all their problems are in this Anna. I feel like this Anna is actually just the problem. I feel like Zenyatta is the solution. Unfortunate. Because, like, even a Winston versus Winston fight between Rib and Internet Hulk, like, Discord is so good. Like, finally, they run a hero that can get nano boosted, and they nano boost. That's, like, the first time a nano boost has been good for them, is because they finally had a Reaper. But they haven't had a Reaper this entire time. Like, that, that was actually the first time I've said, like, wow, that was a good nano boost, or, like, wow, that nano boost actually worked for them. It hasn't been. I'm just getting shut down here. They popped the Graviton and he's nowhere near to clean up and that's a huge problem right there. Like they shut him down in that entire fight. And they don't even have nano boosts for him so I guess it's not that big of a deal that he didn't use his... In, but like the thing is too nano boosted death blossom isn't actually that good against a transcendence so the fact that he dan has transcendence here is actually a ridiculous like it's just a counter like they act mvs has such a hard time now pushing in because every fight where they have transcendence on misfits or every fight when they have graviton is just a one fight for them Like, that wasn't even a good Graviton at all. Like, by any means was that a good Graviton. Like, Taimu kills Hidan, I guess, too fast. But look at Soon, dude. Like, how do you actually kill Soon with this comp? Like, unless Tailspin's killing Soon, Soon's not dying. But Soon's, like, actually a Tracer player. Like, Soon is, like, playing this, like, oh shit, I'm a good Tracer player. Like, he has confidence, his aim is good, he just knows the hero in and out. Like, he knows his limits. 
He's not dying to Reapers, he's not missing his Pulse Bombs much, like, he's saving his abilities. Not the best ult from Crew, but again, there's the nano boost coming into play. Taimu shuts it down. Taimu's gonna get another triple kill here. Like, Taimu tried so hard to win this fight, but he wasn't able to. Like, he winds up getting three people killed or something in that Graviton, but as soon as Nevix is about to die, he drops a Graviton as he's dying, and Soon's just there with the Pulse Bomb, and Soon even dies to his own Pulse Bomb, it looks like. But, like, now Tailspin's on Tracer, and, like... Really shouldn't be dying here. But he's dead. And that's GG. I, I don't know. I just I they should have been running the Reaper the whole time, to be honest. Or at least running as loot Zenyatta the whole time. You could see that they had a chance to win there, but they weren't able to. And I honestly think it just comes down to them stubbornly running Anna and stubbornly running Roadhog. They ran Roadhog on like three, four maps, and they lost every single one. Except for the one where Taimu hit like a million hooks. He actually just hit every single hook in that Nepal match. Like, you can't really rely on that. I don't know. Good, good shit by Misfits, though. Like, that was good. Like, they played well. They deserved that win. They're here, like, they're so dynamic in their picks. They just picked a bunch of players that could play everything, and it worked out. I felt like Tailspin didn't play too well, and I felt like it wasn't really his fault, though, because he didn't have any support. Like, rough life. Rough life for Tailspin in that comp. Like, the best fights that they had were the ones where they had Farrah Mercy, and the ones where they lost were the ones where they just ran Anna and Roadhog. But like, whatever, man. 